The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time. In the heart of Tombland is the Maid's Head Hotel. Now, it's one of the oldest hotels in the whole of the UK, dating back over 800 years. Let's take a look. Well, Adam, here we are in the heart of the Maid's Head. Very exciting, this lovely bar. People maybe not know that there's a bar here. Yeah, it's a hidden gem, the Maid's Head bar. It's tucked away sort of um, on Wensum Street. Designed to be a little local pub. We've sort of done some refurbishment recently, but we don't want to take it straight into the modern age. Always about three ales on the go. We've also got sort of lagers, really good selection of gins, really good selection of whiskies, 40 wines by the glass. Most of it is Grade 1 listed as well, so the Heritage Society is looking after it as well with us. So it's, it's definitely sort of keeping a bit of history within sort of Tombland. The first inn on this site was called the Myrtle Fish Tavern. It changes its name in the 15th century. So John Paston of Paston Letters fame, he writes a letter recommending the Maid's Head as a good place to stable your horse. So, you know, that's the trip advisor of, uh, of the era. Now, right next to the Maid's Head bar is this, the wine press, the restaurant. Now, of course, you can come dine in here on its own right. Or if you order from the bar menu, your food will also be prepared in the same kitchen. Not as any kitchen though, of course. An award-winning kitchen. 2016, we got Chef of the Year, Norwich Norfolk Food Awards. We got nominated front of house. Last year, we also got our second rosette. It's exactly what we've been working for for the last two years. So after you've had a few drinks in the bar and had some of that lovely posh nosh, you might want to visit here. Now we're in the fine city, one of the finest hotels in that city. So this is gonna be pretty fine itself. In fact, one hotel toilet of the year last year. This is nicer than my house. Look at all the lighting up there, mood lighting no doubt, matching the basins as well. Some lovely actual towels and some smellies there. And even here, this is the poshest loo I've ever sat on. Well, once I get comfortable, Bit of privacy, please. Thank you. Many, many famous visitors here. The Kets occupy the Maid's Head during Kets Rebellion. Nelson, allegedly, he had his first drink here. We do know that Catherine of Aragon stayed here, Henry VIII's first wife. Now, fast forward a little bit, our friend Alan Partridge actually declared the Maid's Head Bar to be the finest bar in Norfolk. Being in a pub, we have a pub quiz for you now, but we're calling it six of the best. So I've got six questions for you, and you've got the time it takes me to pour a pint of your choice to answer them. Is that clear? That is clear. Phew, super. Okay. First question. Best time to visit your pub? Early evening to late evenings. It's sort of nice and dark in here, a little bit more sort of uh, ambiance. Oh, nice. Your best memory of the pub? Um, I, I think it's to hurry we... you, Adam, come on. All right, when we've done the refurb, I've <laughs> got a new carpet in here and new sort of benches and it just looked a little bit cleaner and tidier. Best drink? Best drink, uh, gin and tonic. Best meal? Best meal, I'd go for the duo of lamb off the a la carte menu. What's the best hangover cure known to man? Bacon sandwich all the way. Oh, I love that, yeah, me too. Anyway, carry on. Apart from yours, the best pub in Norfolk? Uh, go for the Wigan Pen. The Wigan Pen? Yeah. And just in time, look at that. Look at that. Bravo. Now I know it's not necessarily strictly a pub as you know it, but the Maid's Head Bar has been keeping patrons in the city here in the Maid's Head Hotel fed and watered for literally hundreds of years. I love this little hidden gem of history right in the city centre. And whether you're going for afternoon tea, some Norfolk jerky, no less, some orange juice, or a pint, and something a bit more posh, there really is something for everyone here. And if it's good enough for Lord Nelson, Alan Partridge, and Jeremy Goss, who's over there, it's good enough for me. So I've got everything to really, oh no, hang on. Can we just get mustard on that screen over there, please? Yeah, Channel 7, free view. Thank you so much, cheers. Sorted. The Great Norfolk Pub Guide in association with Lakens. It's about time.